Hi everyone, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve this system of two equations. x to the power of 8 plus y to the power of 8 is equal to 16 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. I suggest you to try uh, to solve the uh, equations before watching the video. Okay, first I uh, write it x squared plus y squared to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 from these equations. Then I, uh, I will have from the binomial expansion I will have x4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y4 is equal to 4. Then I um, take this term to the other side and I'll have x4 plus y4 is equal to 4 minus 2x squared y squared. I will use these um, uh, equations later. So now I do uh, calculate x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 to the power of 2. Again with binomial expansion we will have x8 plus 2x4 y4 plus y8. And uh, then I replace x4 plus y4 with this expression, with the, what I found before. So I'll have 4 minus 2x squared y squared is equal to, to the power of 2, is equal to x8 plus y8 plus 2x4, a4, y4, sorry. Then I will um, expand again this binomial and also replace x 8 plus y8 with 16. So I'll have 4 to the power of 2 will be 16 minus 2 times 4 times minus 2 will be 2 times 4 will be 8 times 2 will be minus 16 x squared y squared plus uh, 2x squared y squared to the power of 2 which will be 4x to the power of 4 y to the power of 4 is equal to 16 plus 2x4 y4 and then I can cancel this 16 from the first side of the equation with this 16 on the second side of the equations and if I take this 2x4 y4 to the first side we will have 4x4 y4 min, uh, so I write it down minus uh, negative 16 x squared y squared plus 4x4 4 y4 minus 2x4 y4 is equal to 0. 4x4 y4 minus 2x4 y4 will be 2x4 x4 y4. So 2x to the power of 4 times y to the power of 4 minus 16 x to the power of 2 y to the power of 2 is equal to 0. I divide both sides of the equations by 2 so I'll get x to the power of 4 times y to the power of 4 minus 8 x squared y squared is equal to 0 and I if I factor out x squared y squared I will have x squared y squared times x squared y squared minus 8 is equal to 0. Now we need to solve this equation. We'll have two terms multiplied to each other equal to zero. So we will I will set each of the factors equal to zero. X squared y squared is equal to zero or x squared y squared minus eight is equal to zero. X squared y squared is equal to zero. Also we have x squared plus y squared is equal to two. So I can write y squared is equal to two minus x squared and I replace y squared in the first equation with what we, I found from here. So what I will get x squared times 2 minus x squared is equal to 0. Again, I have two factors multiplied to each other equal to 0. So either x squared is equal to 0 or 2 minus x squared is equal to 0. If x squared is equal to 0, it means x is equal to 0. And if 2 minus x squared is equal to 0, means x squared is equal to 2. And if I square root from both sides of the equations, I'll get x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2. 
if I have x is equal to 0, in, if I put 0 in this equations, y squared will be equal to 2. And this means y will be equal to plus or minus square root of 2. And if I put x squared is equal to 2 in, in these equations, 2 minus 2 will be 0, so y is squared will be equal to 0, or y is equal to 0. So we will have two sets of, uh, actually four sets of equations, 0 plus or minus square root of 2, and the other answers will be x plus or minus square root of 2, and y is equal to 0. Now we, uh, we, we have to uh, solve these equations with the other factors on this equation. So we'll get x squared minus x, sorry, x squared y squared minus 8 is equal to 0. And also we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. So uh, I can write rewrite this as x squared plus y squared is equal to 8. I take 8 to the other side and um, this as is. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. From here, we, I can write down y squared is equal to 8 divided by x squared. And if I replace y squared in these equations with what, what I found, I will have x squared plus 8 divided by x squared is equal to 2. I multiply both sides of the equations by x squared and I'll get x to the power of 4 plus 8 is equal to 2x squared and I take 2x squared to the first side and I will get x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 8 is equal to 0. This is very similar to a quadratic equations if we consider x squared as the variable so it will be variable to the power of 2 minus 2 variable plus 8 is equal to 0 so we can uh, solve these equations but uh, with the quadratic formula or delta formula which is if we have uh, quadratic equations ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 x will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a in our equations the variable is x squared first we calculate delta I mean b squared minus 4ac. So delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. In our equation, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is 8. So delta will be equal to minus 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 8. This is a, this is c, and this is b. So minus 2 to the power of 2 will be 4, 4 times 8 will be minus 32, and 4 minus 32 is minus 28. We know that in quadratic equations, if b squared minus 4ac or delta is uh, smaller than, uh, less than 0, that means that that equation doesn't have a real solution. So for this, for these equations, we have no real solutions. For the, so the only solutions is x zero and y is equal to plus or minus square root of two, and x is equal to plus or minus square root of two, y is equal to zero. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your support. I wish you a fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers.